Ik had niemand zijn. Jerusalem. Now this movie was actually one of my most anticipated horror films to come out in recent years and now I've seen it, what do I think? And I'll tell you just a moment. So this one is directed by the Paz Brothers and doesn't have any particularly famous actors although found footage films never normally do and that's what we're dealing with, a found footage film. And the story here focuses on two young American girls and they basically decide to go on holiday one of the girls, who is kind of our camera woman, if you like, has recently lost her brother and she's kind of feeling a little bit low. So they decide to go to, well, Jerusalem. Bit of a funny place to go on the holiday, you might say, but, you know, there you go. So they meet this kind of, like, hunky training archaeologist on the way. And when they, when they get to Jerusalem, they meet uh, a few local people that will be kind of come, of, come, come into the story as well. However, it, this all kind of happens on this kind of a, a biblical event. And the, uh, the kind of the dead seem to be rising from the graves. But not in the form of your traditional kind of zombies or ghosts. No, these are more demonic creatures. Uh, and this really benefits from, I have to say, being actually filmed in Israel. So it does give a, a real sense of authenticity here. Uh, and really benefits from the kind of the scenery and the kind of obviously the cinematography that is on display here. Now, this kind of is an easy film to describe in a nutshell, basically. This film is basically like a supernatural or biblical version of Cloverfield. And I really mean that in what you think. So, I wasn't expecting that sort of something. This is more like that than your traditional sort of like um, wreck or uh, grave encounters type sort of kind of found footage horror film. So without kind of giving too much away in the plot, that's pretty much all I'll say on it. Uh, um, there's a couple of things I kind of want to mention. So the, the conceit here is that the, the kind of the main character, if you like, the person who is the point of view that you see, she's actually wearing these kind of Google glasses or kind of like smart glasses, I suppose. And they're basically recording the whole time. Now, if you're a bit of a techie, you may kind of argue, as much how they work. And that's fair enough because they don't. You, you will see all the heads up displays, but you'll see like real apps like Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, things like that, and it'll come up on the heads-up display, which I thought was a neat trick. It's not how, it, I mean, these things are literally always recording, not quite how they work, but just go with it for the movie's sake. So that's the basic, the reason why they're kind of uh, the, the, the filming, basically. I thought the acting here was, was you know, all pretty good, to be fair. Like, I kind of bought the fact that these two were friends. I will say, though, if it does kind of make you think, man, Western tourists must be a pain in the ass to some locals sometimes. Uh... What I really liked here is the kind of the the direction actually. I, mean, I, I just thought that this had a, a fantastic pace to it. Uh, it was a perfectly executed, uh, lower budget kind of found footage film. I thought the creature design was interesting. It had some surprises in it. Like kind of didn't was you know like, really didn't wasn't expecting to be honest with you. And not only that, you have a kind of not only the kind of the, the supernatural forces. You have basically the kind of the military involvement as well. Um, you know, like I said, the the fact that this is all filmed in Israel as well, it really does add that kind of that maybe that sense that you wouldn't get if obviously if you're substituting it for like uh, you know one of these kind of um, sets or things like that. So, what didn't I like about it? Like I said, I mean, some people may have a problem with the kind of the the Google Glass type things. Um, I didn't. You just got to kind of go with it basically. But I did, I did have a problem with some of the plot points here. Uh, most notably, there are some decisions that I made here which I just thought were unrealistic. I mean, uh, for example, without kind of giving things away, uh, one of the, our main character basically decides to ditch off her kind of her, her best friends and go into uh, a, a massive building looking for a bloke who's only just met. I don't know. To me, that would just sounded a little bit. That was a kind of a bit of weird. And that's just kind of one thing. So there's a couple of decisions here. Um, that I thought they were a little questionable and a little bit stupid. And the other thing is, um, considering what we see on screen, and, you know, it's probably more than you think, let me just put it like that, uh, I didn't think the people were freaking out as much as they would be. Uh, so a couple of minor quibbles on maybe the plot and the kind of the, the sort of character development uh, more than anything else. But creature designs, really interesting. The kind of um, really a cross between a zombie and a kind of a winged demon. Uh, and that's kind of the, the most of what you'll see, but that's not all you'll see, let me tell you. Um, so I thought this was a, a well-made, well-executed, 
Uh, I mean, it does some, fall somewhat into the traditional tropes that you'll sort of see in a, uh, uh, you know, particularly a found footage films. But it's a well-made film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. A couple of minor quibbles here and there, but overall, this is um, a, a pretty damn good horror film that is, I think has some original elements and kind of, you know, it's something you you enjoy watching. And I don't think it was disappointed. Go check it out. I'm gonna give this movie uh, an eight out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.